Hi, it's Kira from Creative Photography Classes or Shooting Magic with Kira and Cheryl. Today I wanted to uh, quickly show you how to use our magic overlays. So when you uh, boil them you will get uh, 20 beautiful overlays you see on the screen and I'll just show you how to use them quickly. Okay, so let me just get rid of those. So what I did, I opened just a few out of those overlays. Now be aware this is big files. Of course it all depends how big is the file you will be working on. So let me just minimize that. <clears throat> so sometimes you will need to uh, resize them to suit your needs. Okay, so um, here is uh, the file I'll just want to show you how they work on. I think it's a little bit too big so the software will run uh, slower. So let me just quickly resize it just for the display purposes. Okay, so I want to resize it so it's smaller. Okay, so this is just for the software to run uh, faster for you. Okay, let's say I want to grab overlay like that. This is number seven. Just let me push that away from the screen. Okay, so what do you need to do? Okay, what, what I do, I'll just uh, hold Alt and from the layer of the file that I want to drop on the top of the file that I'm working on, I'll just, so holding Alt um, on your key, uh, keyboard and drag from layer. Okay, so I drop the file and as you can see now this file is uh, quite big. So Control T, okay, I want to resize it and it doesn't really matter if I hold shift or not because for me it doesn't matter if it's if it's uh, the same ratio. So I just resized it so it will be smaller. Okay, and I drag it on the top of my uh, image that I'm working on. Okay, so when I'm working with those overlays, which you can see they have sort of black background, basically, my, in most of the times, I will work on okay, screen mode. Okay, so blending mode screen and see what happens. So I choose screen mode and after that, you can see, I have the beautiful splash of light moving around it. It's still quite big for what, for example, I need for this image. So again, Control T to resize it. I resize it. I can change it. I can rotate it if I want to. Right, enter. And then I can put it where I want to. Let's say I wanted her to have a beautiful splash of color here. Little bit of magic. Okay, or I wanted to have um, sparkles on her dress. Okay, so it can be bigger, smaller, you can see, you can put it anywhere you want, like that, okay? If you make it even smaller, it can be a little bit of above her eyes, depends how much mag more magic you want to create. Okay, now if you want it stronger, because not in, in not all of the areas you will see it, okay? So like, let's say if I put it on the white dress here, you can't really see it. So you need to find the places where it's used. Sometimes it's beautiful for creating the backlight images. So if you look what I'm doing now, if I put it sort of on the edge of her dress, see like that, it feels like the light is touching the dress and giving her beautiful backlight. Okay, same as here. Let's say if it was the light somewhere here, you can create the shine from the earrings, from the ring like that and then you can change it, transfer it the way you want to. Okay, so it's sort of... So for example, she can have uh, showing a little bit here. Now, if you want to delete part or of the effect, okay, so what you need to do, okay, add mask, okay, brush, and with the black brush, so I'm choosing black brush, okay, smaller brush, either like that or with the brackets, okay, left and right brackets to make it smaller. I can just delete the little bits and pieces that I don't want to. For example, here, if I was to uh, put the splash of color on, on her arm, but I don't want it on this side, I would just, okay, smaller brush, maybe delete it a little bit from here, but I would leave it on that side, 
okay now if I want stronger effect the easiest way to do it right click on the layer that you have for that overlay duplicate layer and see what happens see it immediately became much stronger effect okay which again then you can drag away so choose the move tool and you can drag away and put it but uh, remember whatever you did to that layer which was your first layer it repeated when you duplicate it okay which you actually can take back but that's probably too complicated so just remember whatever effect you achieved on the first layer when you duplicate it will be exactly the same so but now I'm working on the duplicate and I can just have a little bit of splash here right? for example okay which doesn't really suit here so I can put it on the dress let's try another overlay just to show you okay so drop on the top of the image okay we can see again it's big we don't want it like that so control T I want to resize that so I resize that and then with the move tool I put it on my image so you just pick the overlays that suit your ideas suit your fantasy okay or I pick again screen mode blending mode screen and now I have a beautiful sort of star that I can have everywhere again you can see little bit of leftovers here remember what we need to do add mask so here you add mask on the black brush I'll just take the effect away either fully so I can use 100% or if you want just part of the effect oops I just removed the whole effect so back on the white brush because I just accidentally removed it so white brush introduced the effect back and the black brush take effect away okay and now I can move it a little bit again I, it's a little bit too big so I can make it smaller and have a so beautiful star on her now if I want I can duplicate that star because I sort of like the size of it and I can put a little bit more stars duplicate again And put another star. Well, you're probably getting the idea how I can use it. Um, now, just for the purposes of showing you, I will flatten the image because otherwise the software will run uh, really, uh, really slow. Show you another overlay. Um, this is a different color overlay. Okay, I think that one is number 18 in your pack. Let's drop that and see what happens has different color again screen mode and for example I can put some sparkles on her dress remember I can delete the leftovers okay so that can be quite beautiful and you have different colors uh, uh, as well and you can change it uh, let me show you yet another one uh, for example something like that okay you have another overlay which is beautiful and it looks like a, a worms glowing worms okay so let me just drop that on the top okay again screen mode for blending and you see we have gorgeous sparkles now if you want to stretch that effect or get it smaller control T okay, while you're still working with this effect on that layer okay so if you want make it bigger right, make it smaller and then you can put it anywhere you want and it creates beautiful magic around you remember we can add here we can add mask okay if you want to delete few 
of those sparkles because that can be too many and they look too regular so it doesn't look real so you look looking at here so if I want I can delete a couple of the sparkles or if I don't like the particular splashes of light okay let's say I don't want the big one I can delete it here I can then duplicate if I want to or drag it again on the top okay so it just became more strong but let's say I want it all over the place so now I can just change it create it here I can put a little bit more sparkles on her dress okay and so on and so forth okay so enjoy your overlays create magic and uh, please check our creativephotographyclasses.com for more magic product thank you